الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله أكثر للموت 
Kunti Zikra. He's created you to test you which one of you remembers death the most. And which one of you prepares for death the most? And which one of you fears death the most? Sayyida Aisha Siddiqa radiyallahu ta'ala anha asked the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is there anyone who will be resurrected on the day of judgment with the martyrs, with the shuhada? And he replied, yes, the person who thinks of death 20 times a day. There is a hadith in which the Prophet has stated, death is a sufficient, sufficient a topic for any scholar of preacher to talk about. Sallu ala al-Habib. There's a car blocking the entrance of the masjid. The number plate is called HT53GS2. This car is blocking the entrance of the masjid. Whoever it belongs to can please move the, masjid, uh, move the car. Sallu ala al-Habib. So death is sufficient a topic for any speaker, any preacher, any scholar to address the people on. Hazrat Umar bin Abdul Aziz radiyallahu ta'ala anhu used to gather. He was the Khalifa of his time. He was the Amir Mu'mineen. Every night he would gather scholars together. They would congregate. And they used to talk about death and resurrection day and the afterlife. And they would cry every night. They would cry so much. They would cry as though there was a funeral in front of them. Hadrat Hassan Basri radiyallahu ta'ala anhu used to only speak about death hell and the afterlife in each and every one of his congregations. It was the only topic that was ever mentioned in his gatherings. One woman came to Sayyida Aisha Siddiqa radiyallahu ta'ala anha and she said that I have a hard heart. She complained about having a hard heart and she wanted some advice on how to soften her heart. And Sayyida Aisha Siddiqa radiyallahu ta'ala anha said, Think of death excessively, abundantly, and your heart will become soft. The woman did so, and after a few days, her heart was softened, and she came back to thank Sayyida Aisha Siddiqa radiyallahu ta'ala anha. There was one saint who had a grave dug in his house and he used to lie in the grave several times every day to remind himself of death and he used to say if my heart doesn't think of death for even one moment it will become corrupt there was one scholar who said I heard Malik bin Dinar Rahmatullah Ali saying to himself, Woe to you, hurry up before the time comes. Woe to you, hurry up before the time comes. In other words, the time of death. He said, I heard him repeat the same sentence 60 times. Hazrat Umar Farooq radiallahu ta'ala anhu said to Hazrat Ka'ab radiyallahu anhu, Hadisna anil maut, tell us something about death. There are many narrations in which we find the companions and the saints asking their companions to mention death to them. Which means they wanted their friends to speak about death. 